The government is trampling on the church once again in Ireland. It's back to the drawing board for Egypt's parliament. And it's the end of innocence for grade school children in one Washington city. All that and more coming up on today's Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Seal of confession compromised. It's official. Catholic priests in Ireland must now break the seal of confession to report child sex abuse, according to the country's justice minister. Clergy could face up to 10 years in prison if they fail to obey this new law. In the past, a priest could be considered exempt for religious reasons. However, the Catholic Church's special position was taken out of Ireland's constitution in the early 70s, so any new challenge would be left for the courts to decide. Irish priests are standing fast, declaring they will not violate the seal of confession, even if it is the law. Rebellious priests. A group of American priests are uniting to celebrate and implement what they perceive to be the concepts of the Second Vatican Council, the Association of the United States Catholic Priests, inspired by a similar group of priests in Ireland, is defending dissenting clerics. Benedict XVI has become a strong defender of the so-called Reform of the Reform, aimed at correcting misinterpretations of Vatican II both in liturgy and in doctrine. Rebellious priest groups have been popping up all across the world over the past year, especially in Germany and in Austria. Building Coptic Confidence. Egyptian Coptic Christians get a spark of hope as the nation's Supreme Court declares the six-month-old parliament illegal. As we reported yesterday, Coptic Christians have been fearing loss of rights as the Muslim Brotherhood-controlled parliament prepared to write a new constitution. However, the Supreme Constitutional Court has dissolved Egypt's new parliament, finding its Islamist members illegally elected. The court also ruled Ahmad Shafiq, former prime minister under ousted dictator Hosni Mubarak, can stay in the presidential race. Conservative Muslims have been trying to block Shafiq with the country's political exclusion law, stating members of Mubarak's government cannot run. The court's ruling comes as a blow to the Brotherhood's presidential candidate, Mohamed Morsi, who must now race against the Coptic favorite, Shafiq. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Shooting down Sharia. Trying to uproot dangerous militant Islamic forces in Germany, the country's interior minister has ordered raids across the country to expose jihadist plots against the government. Interior Minister Hans-Peter Friedrich announced the crackdown yesterday, which involved 850 police officers in raid operations executed in seven of Germany's 16 states, targeting mosques, meeting places, halls, and homes. After banning the militant Islamic group Mil Milatu Ibrahim, Friedrich says a huge amount of evidence gathered in the raids may be enough to drive two other Islamic Salafist groups out of Germany as well. Germany is one of many examples of Salafist groups who trace their roots back to Saudi Arabia, trying to push Sharia law on countries all across Europe. Before this next story, a warning, it does contain mature content. Public sex education. Parents in Onalaska, Washington are calling for the resignation of an elementary school principal, furious after their 11-year-old children were taught about oral and anal sex in the classroom. The principal, a woman instructor for sex ed classes, began teaching the kids about HIV and AIDS when a student asked about other forms of sexual activity, and the principal responded by graphically explaining the sexual acts in all their detail. In media interviews, one parent said the lesson raped the young children of their innocence, while the school superintendent defended the principal, claiming the lesson did not go too far and that they only followed the state-approved curriculum. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here.
on realcatholictv.com. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about a big move and the church suffering. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.